If you would like to view yield maps, select operation number one, look at all the different available maps for the field, and then select a harvest map. You can see the harvest maps are designated with an orange color. We can now see our yield map, see our yield legend. You also have the ability to slide the contour and contour the map, which makes it appear a little smoother and more zone-like instead of the blocky nature of a normal yield monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and close up the legend. I can see at the bottom, start time, end time, total bushels that came off of the field, average yield, wet pounds, average moisture as well as area worked, as well as the varieties that were in the field. If I would like to look at a specific area of the field, I can select the polygon icon and select an area within the field. My summary will then update to tell me the information about this selected area versus the entire field. I'll go ahead and pull the summary up a little bit so we can see in the selected area I have a yield of 232 bushel per acre where my field average was 202. I can see the moisture is about the same and there's 1.68 acres in that selected area. I can either clear out the selected area or I can drag it to another area of the field and the summary will update again. Many times we would like to compare our yield map to another variable within the field. I'm going to switch over to compare mode so we can look at two map layers at the same time. If I select Sergo, that would be our soil map. And where the power really comes into play is the data analysis button. If I select the data analysis button, it's going to break down my yield by each soil type within the field. So I can see Pawamo Silty Clay Loam had an average of 217 bushel the acre, and there's 13 acres of that in the field. If you check mark the box on the left hand side, it will highlight those areas on the yield map as well as the soil type map. We can see our Glenwood clay loam, six to 12% slopes is by far the worst performing area of the field in terms of soil type with 132 bushel per acre average, but notice it only accounted for 0.4 acres within the field up on the northeast corner. If I would like to compare a different layer, I can simply go to operation number two and pull up a different map. Maybe I wanna to compare to elevation. This will pull up an elevation map for the field. Keep in mind, RTK elevation maps will be much more accurate than SF1. So we can see where we had our highest elevation, we had a 169 average yield, four acres of the field. And we can see there's a very general trend as the elevation goes down, for the most part, our yield goes up. So it's no secret that typically low ground is more productive than high hilltop ground, but this really helps us break it out, visualize it, and give us some actual numbers behind what we already know. I also have the ability to possibly pull up a planning prescription and compare relative to that. I can pull up my corn seeding operation and then look at my as applied rates. So this field was planted to a prescription. We can see where we planted our highest rates had a 233 average and you can see very well as my seeding rates have went down my yield has went down as well which is what we expected to happen 
we know there's variability out in this field so it helps us do a better job and be more efficient if we put a little bit more seed where we know we have more potential for higher yield and less seed where we know we do not have the potential for higher yield and we can even follow that up with a side dress application for nitrogen I could pull that map layer up and also look at the as applied rate relative to what my actual yield was and we'll see a very similar trend where we have our highest yields we've also applied our highest amount of nitrogen fertilizer we can see there's a very nice trend as our application went down our yield went down as well